Dante the opportunity to speak. Thank you for waiting patiently, brother. Go ahead. Let's get some young blood in here. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. But like I was saying, I've lived through that story. I came from a single mother household where my mother, she damn near almost had me resent my father because her and him didn't have a good relationship when I was growing up. So I thought my daddy went ain't shit. Like I got to the point where anytime Father's Day came up, I ain't want to talk to the man. I ain't want to have deal shit with the with the man got going on, because my mother put that in my mindset. I had to grow up uh, talking to my father. Like what, what happened? Sadly, sadly to say, I didn't get that chance because my daddy passed away two years ago, and I found I had two older brothers, which is crazy. So your mom poisoned you. She damn near at first. Because all I hear is about how he ain't shit, how he didn't do this, and how he wasn't doing that. But as a matter of fact, it got to the point my daddy was, my daddy didn't even claim me. So I could I could be saying the same thing. I, I could be trying to bomb, but I, I grew up older. I'm 27 now. So I grew up older. It was like, dang, maybe um, maybe my mom and dad didn't, didn't work it out. But one thing he always made sure, he always made sure she was good. You know, he didn't even talk about me. He made sure uh, she was good, though. So I'm saying like you like all we hear, all we heard was bad about your husband. Like I said, I appreciate you for telling your story. But all we heard was the bad things about your husband. What what good has he done? He was a good father. And I I never talk bad about him to the children. They see for themselves. And that's one thing I I definitely uh, wanted them to see for themselves. I wouldn't bad mouth him. I've never bad mouth him. But my again, my daughter saw his behavior. She saw the things that he did, and she made up her own mind as far as how things are. And my son, he he asked for my son to come and, and spend some time with them, and my son said no. He said because of the girlfriend and the way they fight and all that kind of stuff. But that's that's his own opinion. I have to let them be. They're human beings. They have their own opinions. Wait, and how wait, wait. Is how old is your son? He's eleven. See. Th- that's part of the problem too. It don't okay. matter. It don't matter what he wants. Yeah, that's a lot. He's eleven. Uh uh-uh. He's eleven. It, it, didn't you tell He's, me earlier that what? I had to protect my children? That it's my job to protect my children. Ma- yeah, so mama, that's what I'm mama, doing. mama, mama, you're using as excuse. Now nah, he no, needs no. his dad too. He needs his dad too. Yeah, boys need their dads. You need a father. She now. I'm that's good. My- yeah, you you, you heard it. Who good? Wait, who, wait, wait, wait. Who's good? Who good? We are good. No, no, that's not what you said, and that's not what you meant. Say, say it again. What you said? You I'm said good. I'm, good, I'm good, right? On right. protecting my children because, because that's my job. No, 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 Mama, you're not protecting your son by keeping him away I from am. his dad. I truly am. No, you see how the um, Kamante said you? he resent his mother, and he's 27 now. No, that's maybe yeah, that's, a, that's that might him be an outcome. And their relationship might be different from me and my children. I'm very open with my children, and we have open conversations. Mm-hmm. I bet. And again, I bet y'all don't know the full story, and I can't tell you everything. But my children are very aware of of their father's behavior and the things that he's done. And so I talk. And to mama, them, and, and mama, make sure they, they know too, right? And no, mama, make sure they, they know. It, they saw it for themselves. Yeah. Okay. I, I get what she's saying. Um, uh, this whole song of the but toxic. I see my mother go through it. Now she's having a hard now, now she's almost 50 years old and crying about she can't keep a man. She's I don't want to keep man. All the years, I, I don't need one. Now she's crying about can't get one. She literally have had a conversation almost every weekend. Like it's just, yeah, it's, no, it's I'm okay. So it's like if my, my dad didn't treat my mother, and she was a beautiful woman and great heart, and he didn't treat her the greatest. However, however, um, I my relationship with my dad is my and they were together until the day she died. But my relationship with my dad is my relationship with my dad. And so I couldn't judge him on what ever happened in their dark relationship. I had to judge him on the relationship me and him established, if that makes sense, because that's me and my dad. I came from him. You know what I mean? So the kids comfort their dads. So if I don't get along with the father. I can't because me and him beefing. I can't not let my son have the part of of a man that he needs, the man that he came from. I can't, you know, not let him have that because I don't like his dad. Because that's going to be detrimental in the future. You see, Kamante just said, 
I resent my mother for that. And that's what, in our community, a lot of women, that's where we make a mistake at. If he ain't on dope or if he ain't, like, sexual or abusive like that, I say kids should still have um, the opportunity to build their relationship with their fathers, regardless of how we feel about them. And he can't. And I'm going to say this real quick, and then I'm going to drop down. So um, I, I agree. And I don't stop him from seeing him. I just won't let him go with him to certain situations. Chris, right? Was, you got. You I, feel like you got to be in control of everything. I'm gonna say this. That's and his I'm son going too. To Christmas 2020, the girlfriend called the police on him, and the mom had to beg the police not to arrest him on Christmas. And this happened in front of our children. And y'all want me to let them go with the person when they fight all the time? How am I protecting my child when that's a possibility of her them fighting? them call her calling the police on him then now my son is with a person that you know stuff could happen i have to think about all contingencies and that's what i'm doing i asked my son did he want to go right. he said no i accept the dad and keep him pushing if he wants to come to the house i don't stop him from coming to the house i don't stop him from right. seeing the children as long as you are in control of the situation that's all good right as, as long as you control everything, it's all good. And healthy. That's all that matters to me. And if they are not safe mm -hmm. and healthy where they go, then no, I'm not letting them go. Well, we take risks being parents mm -hmm. anyways with our children. Each day they go out, they can, you know, they taking a risk just walking up outside of the door. So I'm saying that to say this, like maybe that was, you know, it happened, but I don't think that it should be like completely for the rest of life. Like, you know, you can't see your dad until you 18, you make that decision yourself. We mess up a lot with that. And these kids really, they get the bad end of the stick when we make those decisions going off of our own emotions. Our kids suffer in the end. That's all I'm saying. And, and you said this was Christmas in what year? 2020. You know how long ago that was? And man? that's just one story. Like I said, I can't tell you guys everything. But this is a regular occurrence with him and her. And I have to protect my child regardless of whatever. You know, I have to think risk. Yeah, risk versus reward. There is no reward in, in him going and being traumatized by being with them when they're fighting all the time. The, the, the idea of his dad being locked up and then him being stuck with that woman when I've seen women abuse that child because of the sins of the father why not just eliminate that and you can just come here and see him or right. at your mom's house or something like that i'm going to protect my children because right. that is my job yeah and it's I... his job too you're right it's both your job to protect them even i mean she probably mad you know how some women are she probably mad probably. Your son i do and house. that's why i uh you know how some women get mad, like he brought his son over. That may be the case. I may be wrong, but that may be the case. That's what it sounds like. And so they fighting about it. However, he needs to make that adjustment as a father. Like, do I want to be with this type of woman that I can't even have my son come around or I can't have my daughter come around? So he has to evaluate himself also. But at the end of the day, you're going to have in the future, some years from now, it's going to be another Camante saying like how they hate their parents or they're going to be on the Internet talking about the parents is narcissists or, you know, like it's so many examples on how we can fix that. We can co-parent. And again, like you don't have to be with them. You don't have to, you know, y'all divorced or whatever, but try to build a co parent relationship so the kids still can have him, even if it's him meeting them somewhere, or they going to the movies or they going to a basketball game. At least have that instead of just. Nah, like, nah, I do like again, it. like I said, I don't stop him. I I don't. I just need to know what's going on. If y'all let right. y'all children go off with without knowing the situation, and that's on y'all. And I didn't make the me. Him, I, I have three, four. I completely. I will accept that title and keep it pushing. But I, I just want to protect my children as best I can. Yes, it is a risk. It's a risk when they leave your house at any point in time. But to send them into the lion's den is unwise. And right. uh, when when your when your son grows up and doesn't know how to interact with a woman or treat a woman in a certain kind of way, the way a man would, will that bother you? Say the question again. Will it bother you that your son won't know how to interact mm -hmm. with women? My son knows uh, how to interact treat? with women. Man. I wouldn't want him to behave as his father has behaved Man. in the last couple of Man. years. So that's a despite, problem for me. Despite what those other bitter single women tell you, women cannot raise a boy to be a man. Mm -hmm. 
And men, a lot of men can't raise a man to be a man. Look at the cycles. Oh, okay. Look at the foolishness that's continued. That. My mama did not raise me to be a man. Well, so who did you learn from? I learned from my granddaddy, learned from my uncle. I had other um, older cousins. I had other male figures. And so does my son. He has other male figures. I'm just not interested in that. That's not enough. In, in That's not man. enough. And, oh, well, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm good. Ma'am, ma do you know what the statistic is of black men that's in jail? You heard it before, right? Most of them come from single mother homes, 80% of them. That's in a way, I'm passionate about it because I'm a widow. And um, one of my sons, he didn't even get to meet my husband before he died. I was pregnant with him when he died. But I know that I see with my, and they, they in the HBCU, they just won a championship for the swag. Um, and I seen right. him just grow into a doghood, you know, without a father. And and it kind of tore him up. And it was not by me. It wasn't, you know, that was just God's will or however it happened. But just the absence of not having that father there, I've seen him broken so many times. Like it's just it's it's terrible. So if that you have the opportunity while we still got breath in our body, you can fix those type of relationships and they're tangible and you can fix that relationship between the child and the and the other parent, I would say do it. Because when they gone and you don't have that opportunity anymore, the kid is just I mean, you just gotta stay on your knees praying. My ki my kids don't have a father at all. I wish I did have where I can pick and choose if you can see them that weekend. I don't even have that because they don't won't ever see them ever again. Rebel, did you want to say something? At least press a sound effect or something, man. I got I got you. I got you. Shut up. You can't make this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Not Listen, the Godfather. Well, well, this, this one quick one, right? So so ma'am, how have you ever thought about buying a dog, you know? <laughs> but I thank y'all for your time again women if y'all are not happy in these relationships you don't have to stay with them regardless mm -hmm. of them saying uh, again yeah. a piece of man is not better than no man at all if don't, don't forget time, to find what works for you and if, uh -huh. if that doesn't work for you then stay single I, you, I can't predict the future I don't know right, how you, I feel when don't I forget see. don't leave out the last right now, court I am not interested in dating or being with a man or any of that shit because it's, it's too much aggravation and I'm protecting my peace y'all have a right. good night you, ma'am you left out one you part me. you left out one part you forgot to say even though it's already implied fuck them kids that's the part you left out yeah, fuck no, my kids are most important. Yeah, fuck, yeah, that, I'm not that's bringing what in a man about. just for the sake of having a man. Right. That's why fuck a lot of kids. women fucked up too, bringing in these yeah, negative energies, these kids. negative spirits into their homes around their children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. Thank y'all though. Thank you, Scorpion Queen. Listen, it's it's all love and respect, even if we don't see eye to eye on certain things. It's all love and respect. <laughs>